Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So do we see this glow? I mean, come on. My face, my eyes, my lips, everything is glowing. I'm so excited about today's video. I wanted to do something that was perfect for spring and summer and kind of toned down and fresh and glowy and neutral. I feel like my past couple of looks have been really colorful, so I wanted to do something neutral today and I'm so happy that I did because I'm obsessed with how the look turned out. And, 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 this entire glowy look is perfect for oily skin look I mean just look at how glowy I am like everything is dewy looking but I am completely matte under all this glow and my face is not gonna move my makeup's not gonna melt off and if I do get a little bit oily through this which I probably will because I'm so oily that little bit of oil is actually gonna add to the dewiness of it but it's only gonna happen towards the end of the day so at least that's okay right before I wash my makeup off so I hope that you enjoyed this look and if you want to see how I created this glowy summery makeup then just keep on watching the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a primer and this is my absolute favorite primer. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm obsessed with it. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Super Light Smooth and Blur Primer. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my face and I really concentrate that mostly on my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily. So I just kind of dot it all around and then I'm just gonna start blending that in. And then whatever is left on my hands, I just kind of apply on the rest of my face. Now for foundation, I'm actually gonna use a concealer and I'm gonna be going into the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the shade Light Medium. I have been loving using this as a foundation. It has great coverage, it doesn't feel really heavy or cakey and it's really quick and easy to do. I just apply it with the applicator all over my skin then just buff it in and you'll see it looks amazing. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm first just gonna create a few stripes using the applicator onto my skin. And then using the Real Technique Sculpting Brush, I'm going to start buffing in the concealer. So I first start off by doing kind of like circular motions and really buffing that in. And then I kind of just push that in just to add a little bit of extra coverage wherever I need. And also, if you do need a little bit of extra coverage, you can obviously pick up a little bit more and just apply that over top. I'm now gonna apply some concealer and because I do wanna brighten my under eyes, I barely applied any foundation underneath my eyes and on my lid. I just applied kind of whatever was left on the brush when I was applying the rest on my skin. So I'm gonna go back into the Shape Tape Concealers by Tarte, but this time I'm gonna pick up Light Sand and then I'm just gonna darken up the bottom part of my concealer with light medium just so it blends in nicely and there's no harsh lines. So first going in with Light Sand right under my eyes and on the sides of my nose, and then with Light Medium just on the bottom. And then I'm going to buff that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. If you have dry skin, definitely don't powder because this concealer dries down matte. So it is already dry on my skin, but I am super oily. So my foundation will get oily within like 0.5 seconds and then just start to melt off. So I have to powder. So I'm going to go into the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to use my damp beauty sponge to pat that powder in. And it actually helps diffuse the powder and set your face really nicely without looking too powdery. Now I need to bronze up my face a little, add some structure, some bronziness. So I'm gonna go into the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I hit pan. I used to love this bronzer so much, like a really long time ago, and then I stopped using and tried to use a bunch of different products, but I recently started using this again and I cannot put it down. I love it so much and I love using the brush that it comes with and so dirty, but honestly, it is amazing. And then I take whatever is left on the brush and just buff around my hairline. I want to be bronzy. Now moving on to blush. I think blush actually has to be one of my favorite parts of the face besides highlight. I feel like once I put blush on, my whole face just comes to life and I have color. And I feel like it just really adds so much to the whole look. So I'm going into the Tarte Blush Book. I'm obsessed with this blush book. 
look at this you have every blush that you need in here so i'm actually going to go into pop quiz which is this one right here i want something nice and bright even though i am doing a nude look i just still want to add a little bit of flushness and color to my cheeks so that is the one that i'm going to be using and i'm going to use that on my sigma large angled contour f40 brush and then i'm just going to take my powder brush and just buff over that to soften it so my face is basically done, but now all we need is highlight, and now my face feels nice and matte. I know it's not going anywhere, but I'm going to make it look like I'm not matte. I'm going to be glowy, and this is what really, really helps with that glow and looks like you're glowing from within. It's so beautiful. So this is the Iconic London Illuminator in Original. So I'm going to apply that on the high points of my cheeks using my Real Technique setting brush. And then if you kind of smile and just lightly, like, I'm kind of like flicking the product, whatever is left on the brush over the apples of my cheeks, it gives you such a nice glow. And then with whatever is left on my chin, keep its bow. And then over the arches of my brow. So you can definitely leave your skin like this. Like, look at how pretty that looks. It looks like I'm glowing from within. It looks like I'm dewy, but I'm still completely matte, which is amazing. But I want to be extra, like super extra glowy. So I'm going to show you guys my favorite highlighter at the moment. It is so amazing. I love it. And that is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder. Let me open it up for you guys. So this is in the shade I'm So Lit. And look at that oh my god so let me show you guys what it looks like when i swatch it because it is so oh my god look at that it is so bright and beautiful i love it so this is what it looks like again so it's a powder loose powder and i'm just gonna apply this over top of anywhere that i applied the liquid highlight and i'm gonna apply that using my sigma high cheekbone highlighter f03 brush And then for my nose, I don't like to use that big brush. I like to use a small little brush. So I'm going to go into this Smashbox Precise Smudger brush. And I'm going to pick up that same highlight. And then just apply it on the bridge of my nose and then the tip of my nose. So the skin is done nice and glowy and fresh looking and perfect for spring and summer. So now let's zoom in and I'm going to show you guys how I do my eyes. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Love in London palette. I'm first going into Cheers. Going in with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush. I'm applying this through the crease all the way into the inner corner and then applying this on this outer half of my lid. And I want to use a fluffier brush like this just because I want it to be really nicely buffed out. And then I'm going to apply a little bit more on this outer half of my lid and then blend that through the crease. I just want to apply something that's a few shades darker than my skin tone and I'm not applying too much of this. I just want a little bit of dimension through my crease. I'm now picking up Crumpet. I'm applying this and smoking this out on my lower lash line with my Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper Brush. And then I'm picking this same shadow up on my Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush. And I'm applying this on my lash line. And I'm kind of flicking that up, starting by placing the brush on my lash line and then flicking the product up. That's going to help smoke out this lash line area, just to add a little bit of darkness and dimension to my lashes. For my lid, I'm using the Iconic London Illuminator in Original. I picked up the smallest little dot of this on my finger because a little really goes a long way. So I'm going to start by tapping this on my lid and then I'm going to start blending that in and this is really going to give you that nice glossy glowy eye and then I'm going to apply whatever's left on my finger on my inner corner and then I'm picking up cheers again and I'm basically just going to redo all those steps that I did before I applied this illuminator on my eye so first just blending that on the outer corner and then through the crease to make sure that everything is nice and blended out. I'm now going into Cheeky and I'm picking up the tiniest amount. So like I literally just tapped my finger, didn't swipe. I just tapped it in there like three times. And I'm just going to tap that over top of this illuminator to add an extra bit of glow. It's going to look so pretty. And then picking up Crumpet on my E15 Flat Definer brush and then defining that lash line once again. 
I want a really nice bright highlighted inner corner so I'm picking up this shadow on my Sigma F70 concealer brush and tapping that right over top oh my god this shadow is so beautiful as an inner corner highlight and then I'm going to take just the tip of the brush and just right in this inner corner to line my waterline, I'm using the Tarte Fake Awake Eyeliner. And to brighten up my eyes, I'm going to apply this on my waterline. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm going into the Salon Perfect Lashes in 661. And that's the eye look done. So I'm first going to line my lips and then kind of fill in the outer corners a little bit to give it more dimension with this Pow On Point Lip Liner by Pop Beauty and Nudie. I love this lip liner, so I'm going to do that first. And now to fill in my lips and give my lips that nice, pretty nude sheen, I'm going to use this lipstick by Lancome, and this is the Lapsalu Rogue Chroma Lipstick in 106. Oh, let me show you. Look at this. Oh, I love the packaging. It's so cool. And here it is. So I'm just going to fill in my lips with this. And that's it. This is a completed look of my neutral, glowy makeup that's perfect for spring and summer. I hope you guys enjoyed I am so in love with how the look turned out and how my skin looks and how everything looks that I'm really upset that I don't have any plans and this is about to be washed off that I feel like I need to make some plans to go show off this beautiful makeup to everyone. And just my luck, it's about to start raining and I'm about to miss golden hour, so there we go. You guys at least got to see this and I guess I'll just have to recreate this and get a good photo in golden hour. I know that's not what it's all about but I just feel like I need to like I really need to see what this looks like in golden hour. Just imagine the sun shining off my skin. Oh looking like a glowing goddess. <laughs> so let me know what your favorite glow products are down below. I would love to read them because I love finding new products that make me nice and glowy. And also, I just really quickly wanted to mention, hello, <laughs> my brush set with Sigma, my Polina Elliott favorite brush set is back in stock. We sold out for the second time. So definitely go get your hands on it if you haven't already. I'm constantly creating looks using my brush set honestly the only brushes I ever use are these five brushes in here so definitely check it out I'll have the link down below for you guys to find it easier and also if you guys want to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter that'd be right here as well as down description box and lists of all the products that I use today along with my brush set <laughs> will be listed down below for you to find everything easier don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and hit the bell button to get notified whenever I upload and I think that should be it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye